Guys, I can move some earth. You have nothing to say. You just to do. Wow. Still. <laughs> Not surprised. <laughs> Good like fellas. It? How's it going? Good. Good. What do you think about the hike so far? Hey, do you guys see that trail over there? It's because there is no trail over there. No trails at all. Just pure heart and soul. Where we're going, we don't need trails. Group of, see that group of trees right there? Yep. He went in that log. He went around it, and that's where he stood, where I could see. Was there a shot because of the trees? Oh yeah, it was. Okay. And then he went across the stream okay. and laid it down over there for 40 minutes. And I was like, oh. But no. But then I got it, so I stood up again, 
and he went and then so I was like I gotta just like get out of here and stop standing up so I just you know disappeared off the side but basically the last time I saw him did he run at all or was he just no, walking? no he was just walking okay. slow well, I'm gonna have let's track. snag that bow let's go get us an elk <laughs> yeah On our way, find Rob's elk, it sounds like. Hopefully. Ooh, watch your step. Where'd you guys shoot him in the second place? Yeah, he didn't be expired right here. There he yeah, is. We, we got right into this clearing right here. We seen him shaking his antlers. And he was shaking his antlers. And he just started making noises and we could have sworn we heard a shot. Mm -hmm. Congrats, Rob. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. Oh my God. Thank you guys. A lot of hard work. Congrats. Dude. You got him. Let's get him out, get some pictures, video. Yeah, let's get him. Well, left camp before dawn this morning. Got set up just down the canyon from our camp. And uh, it was all quiet in the morning. So I just sat up on a perch up on the side of the hill. I could see the whole, uh, the whole stream and everything below, and ranged out a couple of spots, and um, just sat there and waited. About an hour, hour and a half after I got there, I just heard something come from around a bush. Got my bow ready, and sure enough, this guy just came around walking. He had no idea I was there. Came down below me, and. Uh, Basically, he, I, I didn't know whether he was going to come go further from this tree that was in front of me or turn and come up and sure enough he came up towards me right almost straight on the trail that I was. So I waited until he was, had a clear shot, about 15 yards or so, just let it rip, stuck him right in the side and uh, he just took off, went around the bush, kind of stood there for a minute, saw blood coming down, it was all good. Waited there for a little while. He went and laid down. Thought it was all good. Stood up. And he stood up. And I bumped him. I thought, oh no. So he went and he went across the creek. And uh, yeah, just I saw him lay down again. And waited there for a long time. Saw him moving his antlers, but I saw him laying down. And I couldn't see his antlers anymore. And I stood up again, moved a rock. And he stood up again and bumped. So that about that time, I took off. I said, oh, we just gotta leave him. I can't, I can't bump him anymore. I went to get the rest of the crew and then uh, got the crew, came back. It had been about an hour and a half since I last saw him. We went, snuck down in, saw all the blood, followed the trail, went right to where I last saw him and he jumped up again. The sucker wasn't dead yet. So we just played it cool, let him run. Saw him bed down, snuck up on the hill above him, and uh, saw him just down in the creek, and uh, just watched him for a few minutes, and literally we only sat there for maybe five, 10 minutes, and he started just making the, all the noises, all the signs. Pretty soon we saw him kind of flop over, and waited it out a little bit more, and sent Bradley down in there. Bradley was scared out of his mind, but we got him. Right in the middle of the creek. Beautiful. Now a couple more days, it'll be out of here, huh? That's right. <laughs> Hopes, hope so. <laughs> I don't know if I was scared out of my mind. <laughs> Congrats, Rob. <laughs> <laughs>
day two in camp. Give us an update. How'd the morning go? Morning went pretty good. Seen one, two, three, four, five, six, six bulls. Heard four others bugle. Uh, we went out for the morning hunt. The guys were packing uh, some meat out from the elk we killed yesterday. So we're gonna go down, do a little bit of fishing in the creek and uh, wait for them to get back and then this evening see if we can't get a, another bowl down to pack out of here tomorrow.
How's the dinner, Rob? It's pretty good. Toothpaste. It's not pie pizzeria, but it's pretty good. <laughs> no, that's tomorrow's dinner. Well, I sure hope so. Sure. <laughs> 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 yeah, a little less bugs and pie. Huh? <laughs> I sure hope. Well, here's camp. All broke down. Getting ready to head out. And he found himself a shed. If it is, we can rip off a piece of that foam and just stuff it in there. Hey, you guys ready to go? Almost. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright Lee, give us the rundown. Well, this is day five of being in. We're on our way out. Uh, the bull I hit, you'll see in velvet, was never recovered. Uh, we watched the video. Looks like the arrow went in, hit the rib cage, and went down his side. We come back out, we followed him for I don't know, a few hundred yards before we lost blood. Looked for him uh, the next day, all day too. Couldn't find him. So, uh, a lot of bulls, a lot of fun. Had an opportunity. Uh, look forward to doing it again next year. All right. <laughs> I missed. <laughs> Bull came into my spot. I was behind my little blind I made and I drew back and hit a stick and it flew over his back. I don't know why you make me tell this story. <laughs> <laughs> what else has happened since? You teased me a lot this trip. Huh. So we're wrestling when we get back in the parking lot. Lee's going to film that. <laughs> yeah. see that <laughs> Everybody on YouTube is going to see you tap out. <laughs> <laughs> what did you have to do this morning? Oh, I left my gun at my little blind. Turns out that blind's probably bad luck. <laughs> so then I ran back, got my gun, then came back and met you guys. So I did a little marathon in between. Now we get to go up the hill. Yeah, he, so he burned himself out, and then we're going to go up this. I did it on purpose. I like to push myself. He likes a good workout. <laughs> yeah. Well... We should get your story, Jesse. I have no story. Here. I just follow Here. you. We'll get you a view of the camera, man. Let's hear. Here's my story. Followed these guys around. Rob's the only one that put something down. That was a long day. Been just hoping these two could get it done. Maybe next time. That's all I got. Beauty. <laughs> okay. Me and Rob are going. <laughs> Me and Brad will try and catch you like last time. Our second fresh bear scat on the way out. Getting loaded for it. Cause elk. Rob's elk carcass oh, is down there. I don't know what's going on. <laughs>